I wish my wife was real, is what everyone says. Well, don't worry about it, as a philosophical essay has finally broken the code. Calm down, calm down, I know you are excited about your waifu coming to reality. But before that, let me give you some background information about the essay. It was written by a philosophical professor, Neil Sinababu, who considers himself to be a very lonely guy. Consequently, he wrote this paper to prove that even he has a lover from another possible world. This essay is called The Possible Girls. As it is based on the philosophy of modal realism, this philosophy was founded by David Lewis, who argued that all the possible worlds are as real as the actual world. The actual world is the one which we currently inhabit, while possible worlds are which we might not inhabit. For example, there could be a world where Donald Trump got re-elected as a president. Um, it is better that I exist in this world instead. So this idea might sound closer to the multiverse theory, but the multiverse exists in one possible world. Thus this fact distinguishes modal realism from the multiverse theory. Now finally coming to the philosophical paper, Sinhababu describes himself as a lonely philosopher. So he began to wonder about a possible waifu that possibly can exist in a possible world. He argues that there are many possible girls out there in worlds where modal realism is widely accepted. Some of the girls are single and are pinning for a boy in a world that isn't their own. Some of them are pinning for a boy who fits exactly my description down to the smallest detail. Well, there is a major counter argument for the above statements. It could be that there are several possible men who are similar to him in characterization. So how could it be that a possible girl chooses him from all the possible guys? Well, Sinababu is determined to show that his one true love can differentiate him from all the possible guys. He further writes that, For this to work, my girl needs to have an amazingly intricate desire. She wants a boy from a world that is exactly like mine, down to the last subatomic particle. On Lewis's functionalism, it won't be right to attribute such a complex desire to her unless she engages in some kind of activity that makes it clear that her desire has exactly this content. It might take a long time for her to finish the activity, but that can be provided for. Perhaps she is immortal with eternally youthful beauty, spending each day singing out every fact about my world that differs from hers. Sinhababu has clarified how the possible girl will choose him. But now another problem arises. How could he distinguish this girl because he cannot apply the same method as singing an eternal song? Because Sinhababu is no immortal. Well, he provides a solution in the form of an alphabetical stipulation where he states all the properties of his waifu including how hot and smexy she is. Again, the explanation itself is better in his own words. He says, To end up with only one girl from the ring, I can stipulate that the girl I want is the one from the world that is picked out by the set of sentences that would come first if all of these sets were put in alphabetical order. I will call this the alphabetical stipulation. So what now? What is the point of distinguishing a possible girl when you cannot even communicate with her? I mean the first things that are important in a relationship are the communication factors. Such a shame that we came so far, but in the end we still couldn't reach the waifu. Well, 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 overlord and savior Sinhababu strikes again as he found a way to actually receive and send love letters to the waifu. There is a way to get love letters from your possible girlfriend. Of course you can't see the paper that she's writing on since worlds are causally isolated. Still, you can know what she's writing to you. The way to do this is to include an extra stipulation when you choose your possible girlfriend. Stipulate that you want a girl who will write to you exactly those words which you write in a particular notebook. Then when you want to hear from her, use the notebook to write the words that you want to hear from her. When she writes responses to her, she'll get them. She has knowledge of every feature of your world that is absent from hers and hence knows what you wrote. Of course, sometimes there is a temptation for some physical contact. You know what I mean? Then it's hard to have a possible girlfriend, especially when you find an actual girlfriend in the actual world. You cannot cheat on your possible girlfriend, so you might have to break up with her. This might be a little cruel, as she has loved you for an eternity. 
But as we know, Sinha Babu always have a logical solution. He shows that your wife will not be hurt, as she knew about it all along. He writes, Since all the facts about my doings will be in my possible girlfriend's song, there are ways that my world differs from hers. The fact that I'm destined to break up with her will be something she knows from the outset. She could have chosen a more permanent boyfriend from among my counterparts. It's mysterious why she still chose me. But actual girls are mysterious to me in many ways. And there's no reason why possible girls would be any different. In all seriousness though, this essay was written to investigate model realism. It can also be seen as a reduction to absurdity of this philosophy. You can read the essay yourself as it is a short and humorous read. I'll put the link below. Anyhow, the argument supporting the existence of our waifus ends here. But I don't see a reason to end the relationship which appreciates waifus over dating a real girl as it don't cost anything other than your love and they will always stay with you forever.